What do you think, Capri? We're at that helmet place. There's our helmet. We're waiting to hear what it's gonna be. Are you done? Or do you have more to go? We're gonna find out. They just took her pictures. What do you think? We'll see. Avery, what are you doing? I got her a new kind of cereal to try. And this is like oatmeal mixed with strawberries and bananas. And I think she's just not quite sure about it. She seems meh. This is her first time trying. It usually takes her a couple of times to get used to something new. Huh? What do you think? You gonna talk? This morning she woke up, which I was telling Anthony this morning, the past couple nights she has been sleeping through the night for me and it has been amazing. We put her down seven, about seven, 7.30 and she'll sleep until 7 a.m. the next day. It is glorious. But since I talked about it, watch tonight, she'll wake up in the middle of the night or something. But we are back, obviously, from Avery's helmet appointment. So I took that little clip. Today was the big appointment. Today was the appointment where they were gonna take um, final pictures of her head or updated pictures of her head and kind of tell us what the game plan was. And the two options we were deciding between was either she would be done with this helmet and just be done with the process and we wouldn't have to wear a helmet anymore or they were gonna see that she still needed a little bit more work to do and they were gonna recommend a second helmet. So we went to the place, they took updated pictures. We ended up waiting in the room for a long time and when the technician came in, she apologized and she was like, I know you've been waiting for a long time. And she was like, the reason is because I'm honestly torn on what to do next. <laughs> She's like, Avery has done so amazing with her helmet so far. Such big improvements. I'll put a picture as I'm talking here of the improvements that she's made with her helmet. I mean, it's impressive. You can see part of her head in the beginning was super like caved in and flat and now it's just rounded out so so well so there's been amazing progress however she does still see ear shifting there's still a little bit of indenting on one side which is causing her one ear to shift forward and not be truly aligned with the other ear so she was like i'm torn because Avery's doing so well, but the helmet is at its end. Like, they only make these helmets with so much foam in the middle. And then, like, if you want to go further on the process, they need a new helmet with new foam. So she was like, honestly, Avery only needs, like, four to six more weeks of wearing a helmet, and then she would be good. But the helmet that she's currently in right now has, like, two weeks, and that's it. So she was like, so basically... You could go either way. She was like, you could just wear this current helmet two more weeks. I'll make a final adjustment today. And then you could come back and we could just have her graduate and be done. Or if you want, you could do the whole process again, get updated pictures, and they'll make a new helmet for you. You'd be charged a second amount. And we would do another helmet for like four to six weeks and then she would be done. And I was like, well, that doesn't really help me. Like, sounds like I could go either way. So I asked her, like, if this was your baby and and she had, or he or she had, you know, what Avery has, her progress, what would you do? And she was like, honestly, off the record, she was like, if a second helmet is free or not going to, like, break the bank for you I would do it because you're already in the process what's a little bit longer and I really think you could see some more progress with another helmet but she was like but if insurance isn't going to cover it and it's going to cost you like four thousand dollars to do another helmet then don't do it it's not worth it so I was like okay I don't know what we're going to do Anthony's in the office today so I haven't really talked to him about it other than like giving him an update so I'll talk to him about it tonight, but basically what they did is they put in another request through insurance to get another helmet, and then the insurance people from the company will contact me and just be like, this is how much your insurance is willing to pay, and this is how much you have to pay. 
So if it's anything like last time, which I think it will be, last time we had to pay $400. It was like $420 out of pocket. And I'm assuming it'll be the same this time, but it could change. They could not cover it at all. If they don't cover it all, I'm not doing it. But if it's like 420 again, I don't know. Like, what do, you, what do we do? What would you do? So, I don't know. Anthony and I have to talk about it and see. Anthony's kind of of the opinion, like, if we have a chance to do it now, like, let's just do it. Because she'll thank us for it later. I'm kind of of the opinion, like, maybe it'll just fix itself as she gets older and it, it'll just round out naturally. I don't know. Probably not. But, I mean, who knows? Her, her head's done so well so far. So, we have at least two more weeks in a helmet. Possibly more. If we do go with the second helmet, she'll have it, like, through Christmas. And we're going to go on this trip to Miami with my family, so she'd have it there. And... Uh, just be a bummer, but I don't know. I It makes me feel good that they are truly putting it on our hands, and it, I don't feel like they're pressuring me to spend more money with them and get another helmet. Like, I don't feel like they're after my money, which is nice. I guess I'll keep you guys updated with what we're going to do. So that's the news. Kind of good, kind of bad. Kind of undecided, I guess. But in other news... There's not too much going on. Oh, you can see behind me. We did put up our tree. I think I vlogged us putting up the tree. Still has no star. I need Anthony to do that. And we've just been so busy. And I need to put ribbon around it. But it's almost done. And the kids are loving it. They turn all the lights off in the house and only put the tree lights on. They think it's so fun. Anthony and I did a ton of Black Friday shopping yesterday. Yesterday was... Um, Cyber Monday, actually. We did a ton of shopping. I don't even want to look at my credit card bill. <laughs> Let me know if you guys got any good deals. I'm basically done shopping for the kids. I got all their presents. Um, my family does Secret Santa. Anything I did, got one of our Secret Santas completely done and one we just need like one other gift. Uh, my godchild, my sister, Allison, and her husband, Garrett asked Anthony and I to be Ivy's godparents, which was super exciting. Her baptism is actually this Sunday, so it's coming up. And since I'm the godparent, I have to get her, or I get to get her Christmas gifts and birthday gifts. So I already got her Christmas gifts done. Super excited about that. I'm not going to say what they are on here because I think my sister sometimes watches my vlog and I want it to be a surprise. But anyway, got that totally done. Um, my siblings and I all bought my parents gifts. So that's all completely done. So we got a ton of shopping out of the way. We're still struggling with Anthony's brother. Not quite sure what we're going to get him. Uh, Anthony's dad. We're still kind of undecided what we're going to get him. But most of the shopping has done. And I feel so good I got the kids out of the way and done. Now watch. Last year I got the shopping completely done. And then it was about maybe a week before Christmas. And Grayson like out of the blue said he wanted some toys that I had not gotten him so I had to like scramble around at the last second hopefully that doesn't happen again this year but <clears throat> most of it's done which is good and it's freezing outside it's like 20 degrees so we're not going outside today it's actually been like snowing off and on and I just booked pictures with Santa. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you know every year I take the kids to Cabela's because it's free to do pictures with Santa there. So we're going to go and do pictures with Santa. So excited for that. And this year, my sister Allison and sister-in-law Ellie are going to bring their babies and we'll get everybody pictures with Santa. So it'll be super fun. Got to do that and get that done. I don't think there's much else going on. We don't really have too much going on today. I think we'll just probably play in the basement after nap because it's dang cold outside. Try to get Avery to eat some more cereal, but she's not having it. She might be done. If you guys have any ideas of winter activities to do with young kids at home, please let me know because it's always so hard in the winter when it's freezing outside and I need to get the kids energy out and we can't go outside. So let me know if you have any ideas, but um, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a long winter with little kids. Not looking forward to that.